Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So for this week's Sunday surprise, I'm going to show you how to make this swinging easel card. So I launched this collection just over a week ago and this was one of my samples. It was actually this one here that I made first and then this one I made during my launch and everybody loves this style and I've had lots of people message me and ask me to do it as a demo, which I did, but I thought it would be good to have it as a tutorial. Now I do already have something on my channel probably maybe 18 months ago and I think it might even be using a six by six using paper posies collection i think i'll link it up here anyway because if you maybe you're not into this jungle scene that i've done check that one out because it's a really pretty version but this is uh what i've come up with so i've got my lovely little monkey swinging there this one says have a wild birthday and these ones just you will fold them down like so and then he will sit in there and then that will go in your envelope or one of my box envelopes and then when the person opens it, as soon as they open that, that's going to drop down. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory. They can kind of see there's a gap there. But if you're always kind of worried that someone's not going to know how to put together the card, then drop a little, you know, uh, note inside. And sometimes I, when I'm speaking to them to wish them happy birthday or congratulations, whatever it may be, I just say to them, how have you just played the card? And we kind of make a joke of it if they've maybe not put it how it should be. So I think it's easy to do and I don't think anybody's going to have any problems with that. But you can see that lovely decoration. I'm going to show you how to get this lovely effect using the wood slice embossing fold and then on the back there you have your space to be able to write your message and then this is the other one here using the koala again they do swing really nicely when they're up that way you can see she pops out the sides I've got the gecko there as well have a wild birthday and on the back of this one it says I hope your birthday is quality and it's got party animal and the gecko there as well so let me show you how to make these cards so first of all I'm going to show you how to create the background because I need to get all that stuff down before I can pop everything else together. So I've already embossed the wood slice here on a piece of five and three quarters squared cardstock. So you can just about make out the detail there, but I now want to ink it up a bit. So I've got these two colors. So these are the Harmony Quick Dry, but it doesn't matter what inks you use for the leafy background that I've used on some of my other samples. That was using Distress Oxide inks, so it was just purely down to the colours that I had at hand. If you would like to see more of the samples, maybe you're new to my channel, and you'd like to see how you know some more inspiration, check out the launch video here, and I'll share a playlist throughout the video as well, and you can have a little look there. So what I'm going to do first of all is colour this with a lighter brown. So I'm just going to not being too precious, just you know, don't worry if you've got patches. You just want to get that colour down. Okay, so that's fine. And then I'm going to go in with the darker brown. So that one there was sandstorm. This one is seal brown. This one, I'm not going to use a brush. I'm just going to rub this over and it's just going to grab onto all the raised parts. And the more you go over this, the darker it will be. So, you know, it's entirely up to you. But I think this is running out, to be honest, because I've, I've used this brown to distress lots of things. Um, over the last few months but you can see I've still got that lighter brown in the background but I've got that darker brown on all the, the raised embossed design like so so that's what I did to create that effect okay next I've got this piece here which is a six by six card blank but if you don't have any pre-made six by six then you can make your own so it's just a piece of 12 by six scored along the 12 inch side at six inches and just fold that in half you'll then want this extra piece which you're going to attach separately and this is five and a half by six and along the five and a half side I've just scored at half an inch and just fold and burnish that this piece now you're going to stick inside here so you're basically just making one long piece I'm sticking it inside because then my pattern paper is going to cover that join so I'm just going to use some of my quick grab glue and then I just want to make sure I get that right up to the bottom of the card there like so and then I've got my pattern paper so this is from the scenes paper pad which is this one here so you get four each of six designs there's some lovely ones there this is one of my favorites so i've just trimmed this down just ever so slightly because you want it to be stuck just under that score line so just take a slither off but it's going to cover that whole back and you can see it covers up all of my join so i'm going to use the kalao glue now because that's just going to start to strengthen the card 
and then what's going to happen is the shorter parts this is that five inch now because half of it's been stuck onto there that's the base and then this other six inch front will come down onto the front it's that front where i now want to stick this wood grain effect so i'm going to get that one stuck down so whilst that's drying i'm then going to stick this one down here so again that's the front that's the inside and then this is the base so this one here is five and three quarters by four and three quarters i'm going to pop that one down you could emboss this if you want with the leafy embossing folder i did think that but um i thought i'm going to just keep it like the others and um, build it up with the flowers and stuff but there's no reason why you couldn't do that okay so that's what you should now have now this one you're going to die cut into so just make sure your glue's dry and everything is stuck down so in the die set you have two circles and you also have your decorative aperture to cut out which is that one you could use that one if you want to you can see there you can just cut that now into there but i'm going to use the smaller of the circles and then i've already gone ahead and die cut the two together so i've got my frame so you just want to sit them on your cardstock so you've got an equal you know frame there pop a bit of tape and then run that through and i've done that in the white but to cut into this i just want the smaller one and you just want to center it there it's quite easy to do because you've got this as your guide and then run that through your machine okay so now that's cut through so you're going to keep that and then just re kind of um, burnish the top there so that folds down but now you'll see we've got our opening so i'm going to grab my frame and again some glue i always use the white quick grab when it's small little things like this and then when i've got larger areas usually the mats and layers you'll find me using the cloud glue because that acts as like a cement and it just stiffens all of the the pages and because it's a solvent based glue it's got no water in it so it doesn't warp your paper whereas if i was to put even this cosmic shimmer if i was to cover it a large area with it it would end up slightly warping then I've just grabbed this circle from my own stash and this one here is four inch diameter. You want something that's just slightly bigger than this piece here just to give it a frame. I mean, it's up to you. You might, you know, not want to have it framed. Then you can just cut this in half, which I'm going to do in a moment. But again, I'm just going to add my glue. And then with this piece, you just want to cut it in half. So I'm just going to kind of focus on the center design there just as close to halfway as you can get so i'm just popping some foam on the back there and then i'm gonna this one's a little bit bigger so i'm gonna have this one at the back just want to kind of place your circle down as if it's together in fact i'll lay the front one down first and get that positioned and then the back one's easier so this one here i'm gonna have it about there and just make sure you've got an equal you know amount on each side there and it's nice and straight that one's going to go there and this one you just want to leave a gap enough for the card to sit in and then that one's going to go there so now that will lock into there i do i just need to burnish and along there as well so just make sure you burnish those score lines and now you can see it sits in there perfectly looks really cool next you want to add your swing so you want this mechanism here this is using this die here so it will die cut your circles and your little lines there you want to fold the whole thing in half so the the holes line up and then you want to fold these out so they're little wings so like that that's the shape that you'll have and then i'm going to add some glue inside that side and then just stick it together like so and then open this up you're going to stick it in this pit here so you're going to open it up pop your glue on both sides and then one half you want to stick in the middle below the score line here just below it and then just close the card and then it will stick to this part here so now when i open that up can you see how that's stuck across like so and then this is the swinging mechanism you can see i've just die cut it in some acetate there and then i've gone ahead and stamped and colored the orangutan so he's from the just hanging around stamp set 
see there and you get the dies to match as well if you want so first of all I want to attach this so you've got a hole at the top you want to pop your brad through there these are the five mil brads and then open it up and you're going to pop it through the top like so and then I like to use a pokey tool and I just sit at each side and just open up the split pin over that and it just keeps it slightly raised and it just means you get a really nice kind of swing so it's, it's dangling more than anything and then close it up with this hanging down and now you can decide where you want him to sit so he's going to go right on the bottom of the piece there so i'm just going to run a thin strip of my red tape here and then i can also see that this bit here is going to stick onto the acetate so just to you know make sure it doesn't catch on any of the decoration that you might add i'm just going to pop a little bit there to take the backing off of that piece backing off of this piece keep that nice and straight and then i can sit him down like so and then attach it there so now when i bring that up you see you can see him poking out the sides there so he swings really nicely next i'm going to decorate so i've just got all these pieces here i've just I've, I've got so much die cut from when i was doing all the the launches so you can see i've inked up these ones here so i die cut them in yellow and then i die cut the centers in gold and then i've just inked up the outline there using uh, orange and then i've got this one where i've die cut it in yellow and then i've also die cut it in red so i've got the center there so i'll just piece that back together and i've inked up the edges all these leaves and glitter different mirrored card and then my sentiment is just hanging around to say hi so i'm not sure where i'm going to put that yet i might have it here raised with some leaves or i might have it there and then have flowers down here so i'm going to pop it on high speed and get this all stuck down everything stuck down you can see he moves really nicely obviously when he is upright it's that's how you see him like that he looks really cool stuck everything down on the back there and then when you go to pop this in an envelope like i said i like to just pop him you, well you could have him inside and then protected that way if you want but i kind of like him just over the top like that and then that's all ready to go in your envelope so I'll just bring back in the other two here so there is the monkey. So again, you can see how he looks like so. And again, the koala. And the back there as well. Everything's all decorated. So three really cute swinging easel cards. I've thoroughly enjoyed making these ones. And I just love that wood grain effect. I think it really does make it really so there you have it so as always i will link what i've used in the description box below i will link up the other of this kind of style card that i mentioned earlier in the tutorial i'll link that up here and i'll also link the other swing card of this collection that you can make um, in case you want to go and check those out and as i always say at the end of my videos if you've enjoyed my tutorial and you're not subscribed if you click on my face and then you can hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time i upload a new tutorial Thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.